time this morning. I've been trying to get out here like right at eight, but at least before 8.30 and it's nine. It's a little warm, but everybody seems pretty chill, except for Bunny. Trying to get out early before the heat. Uh, the humidity has gone down, which is nice. So it is pretty nice early and late. Reason I just took care of some things in the house this morning before I got out here. Good morning. Good morning all my little turkeys. Are we finally getting in our routine? We're doing pretty good with it. Everybody but Daisy seems to have figured it out. I think she knows what to do. She just doesn't like it. It's funny. These dominant girls don't like to be pinned up because they know they don't get as much breakfast. Zelly, Zell. Um, these two, though, have probably done the best and are always like right here. And the aren't you Link? Say, I know, Mom. If I'm in here, I get breakfast. I get breakfast in here, Mom. So that is going well. It is steamy. Baby Gate's working great. Everything's going well. I was going to show you guys. These are my two frozen lunch bags. If you haven't seen them before, it so said the whole bag freezes, and that's what I'm using to keep my milk cold. Of course, we're keeping this milk today, so no milk for the piggies. I've got enough to do cheese today, and then I've got to do enough to do some yogurt, which will be good. That was my second thing. So let's get everybody sorted and everybody milked. Yeah. Mom's waiting on the fire pit today, so she just can't go anywhere. So I just haven't been in a hurry because I can't really do anything but sit here today. So, all right, let's keep going. I'm trying some things to keep the camera from getting too hot. No success so far. So I kind of broke up milking into a couple of different segments instead of trying to do it all at once. Didn't help, still overheated by the end. So I'm beginning to think it must be that like where I'm blocking the fan on the camera somehow. I don't know. Uh, I didn't film letting everybody out for the day of the pins of the kennels because I was trying to give it a break while I did that. Also just famachid everybody for worms because Twiz was looking pretty thin. And no, you've already had breakfast. Giraffe, yes, and you were not cooperative, were you? Say, uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, Pixie, Link, Daisy are three that are really hard to worm and famacha. Thankfully, usually they're not my heavy worm load carriers. <laughs> It's not as huge of a deal. Twist normally isn't 
squirmy, but she's raised those three boys. And she's pretty copper deficient, so it wasn't surprising to me that she needed wormer and Ani needed wormer. What I went ahead and did for her today was gave her two of the kid size copper boluses. They're two grams. The adults are four grams. Go ahead and get copper in her before the copper gets here in the mail. Uh, well, good morning, Pig Wiggles. We already had our, our mud bit. Stop, Tony. Yeah. I know you like to bump the gate. It doesn't make mom go faster. It, it, it actually takes longer when you bump the gate. ready for breakfast. We're ready for breakfast. Yes. Oh, have you broke off one side of your crown of shame, Ruth? the crown of shame back on Rue yesterday. That was the first time he's gotten his head stuck since he knocked it off, so that's pretty good. Uh, I did figure out I have poison ivy on my legs and it's because of him and he had it on his feet and his little feet prints turned into poison ivy marks on my leg, super. Here for today a little bit of water they won't stay but they always come out here when I come bring the water down in the mornings which I find funny uh, so I was gonna tell you guys since I did worm and famacha today if you're not familiar with famacha I have two different videos on it um, I'll try to link those up in the corner for you if you're interested it's our method of worming I talk about it probably every couple of months so famacha is when you look at the goats eyelid color and determine if they need to be wormed it is effective in helping your goats not, the parasites not get resistant to your wormer by overworming. That's why we do it. We also do a combo wormer method where we give more than one wormer at once. Generally today, worm Twiz and Nani, Cydectin only. Uh, they're not really super bad off. I'm gonna order some Prohibit and probably give them that too. Generally what I like to do is give them both at once and you can also add a white wormer like a safeguard or um, there's another one that you can include and give them all at the same time. And so that's usually what we do to help with parasite resistance. Something's got after a twist. She got bit by a bug or something. She's freaking out. So that's what we do. And um, so what do we do with our milk was what I kind of wanted to give you guys uh, what I'm gonna do. Since I'm milking six goats, the great thing is I have four that I didn't worm. So I have Poppy, Cece, Bunny, and uh, um, Padme that I didn't worm. So I'll milk them all in one, into one jar and then I'll mix, milk Twiz and Nani into a separate jar and give that to the pigs but be able to keep my clean milk for myself. So that's the way it'll go. Unless it's just today I'm gonna give it all to the pigs which like tomorrow I won't keep any milk because I have almost two gallons in my fridge after today to make cheese and yogurt with. That's what I do. I do a two week withdrawal. So I will not keep their milk for two weeks and then we'll just start milking them for ourselves again, but you have to keep milking them. You can't just stop milking or they'll dry up. So that is the plan. And if you're ever milking your goats and you need to worm them, yes, it's really not good to drink the wormer milk. Cydectin is a form of ivermec which is also used in humans. So really at the end of the day, it's not unsafe for you to drink, it's just you probably don't need to be wormed because you 
personally probably don't have parasites. So that's just something to keep in mind if you need to use a chemical wormer. A lot of people use a daily herbal wormer, leafy herbal wormer, and stay away from the chemicals. In our area, you will lose goats if you're not willing to use a chemical wormer. I, I will hold by that. My vets feel that way. Because of our climate, chemical wormers are necessary. They're safe. We just throw our milk out for a couple weeks until it's out of their system. And so that's how we handle worming when we're milking. bed we just got our new fire um table fire pit it's gas powered gas powered gas fire pit it's like a long fire table we just got it in it's set up it's way too hot for anything like that right now but we got it in so this fall we'll have it hello it's time for bed for bagels you guys get some milk tomorrow are you excited huh you happy no pork chop come on let's go to bed Come on, piggies. Come on, pork chop. Pork chop. No. Come on, pork chop. Pork chop. I got an escape pig. Pig, where are you going? Okay, we have to go get the other pig. Pork chop. Come here. Pork chop. Guys. Where are you going? These ridiculous pigs. This one just went to bed. He's a stink. They've never done that. I've never left really the gate that wide open. Now it's gonna be impossible to get goats in. They're gonna think they need to be fed. This is why we don't feed the pigs at night anymore because it really works out not to. Number one, they don't need the food. Number two, I don't have goats on them with the hair thinking they need to be fed. I close this just in case anybody escapes. It's night night time for you guys too. naughtiness tonight so much naughtiness why naughty pigs naughty everybody it was a hot one today it's still pretty sticky out here now compared to the last couple of days where it's been like really nice after about seven but they've been out most of the day i've been impressed tomorrow i'm not keeping you tomorrow's milk because i have two gallons of milk in my refrigerator so what I will do is feed the pigs the milk for the next couple of days and if i need another half gallon or so We'll milk Nani's milk and Twiz's milk into a separate jar and feed that to the pigs. It is nice to not have to worm everybody at once. That always stinks because then you end up milking for two weeks and just throwing all of it out. We have to do what's best for the animals and staying ahead of a high parasite load is what's best for them. We'll milk and not get to drink it for a while if that's ever necessary. A couple of summers ago I only milked for like two months because we had such a parasite issue and I spent most of the summer not being able to use the milk. 
and just giving it to the pigs kind of over and over and over. And so I quit milking like into July because I just, it was always, there was always worm, wormer in the milk. And if you get a goat in really bad shape with worms, it's best to let her dry off because that producing milk takes a lot out of her. And so I have dried does off early because of worms. So if we can't get to as righted, she's fine, but I have wormed her twice. This is the second time I've had to warm her. And that's probably due to the copper deficiency. And that first copper bowl is just not being enough for her. So now that we've got copper in our system, hopefully working, then we will be able to get this worm situation kind of righted. But copper is a really important part of being able to manage parasites for goats. Uh, I've been doing some kind of coat checks with everybody as well as Pomacha to see who else might need another dose. Daisy probably does and Pixie could probably use another dose. Everybody else looks really good. I've been really happy with how they've slicked up. Bunny's kind of on the borderline of both needing a worm and needing copper, but we'll kind of see. So that's kind of my strategy with milking since we're not warming on a schedule. So we do the Pomacha. It has worked for us very well, but there was a time when I had a really hard time getting parasites under control. And it's why in the last couple of years, I've started doing the, as two different wormers at the same time, being more diligent and rotational grazing, all to reduce worm load in these guys. Also, this year it's helpful to move them to a pasture where there haven't been animals on in several years, probably in 10 to 20 years, which is also helpful because there's no warm load on this, pa this pasture. All right, my girlfriends. Mom just booked herself a week-long vacation here in a couple weeks. Mom, will see you in the morning.